guys, what if everything you tried in your walk in purity does not work? You, you watched our part one video about walking in purity, didn't help. You set up boundaries, you set up rules, you're praying together, you're inviting Christ into your relationship, and you're still slipping. Okay, today we're trying to go even deeper and answer the question what's actually going on under the surface. If we're going to look at what's under the surface, then perhaps we need to look at things at a different angle. Oftentimes, if we keep doing something and it's a recurring behavior, it's actually kind of an addiction. And I know that might sound harsh, but that is what happens, right? It's something that keeps happening and for whatever reason, we just can't seem to stop. And a lot, a lot of times we look at the fact that like pain seeks pleasure. So could this be something that is going to help us walk through purity in a different way? And if we look at what addiction is, doing a nice little handy Google search, we see that addiction can be defined as a chronic relapsing disorder characterized by compulsive drug seeking and use despite adverse consequences. It is considered a brain disorder because it involves functional changes to brain circuits involved in reward, stress, and self-control. This might sound harsh, but let's break this down a little bit. So we see here it says chronic and relapsing. That means that we keep doing something over and over again, even though as Mate said, we might watch all the videos about purity, we might set all the boundaries, yet we keep doing it over and over again. And it says again, despite adverse consequences, we know that it's not good, we know we don't feel good about ourselves afterwards, we have shame and guilt, yet we're still doing it again and again. And it says here that it's actually involved with reward, stress, and self-control. So this is really what's going on in our brain that we want to go a little bit deeper in today. So what Kayla just said is amazing. And babe, I think you need to talk more about that because no one, literally no one talks about this. Yeah, that's a good point, babes. There really is so much to just like unpack here because I think sometimes we don't realize that we have a God-shaped hole in our heart that we're trying to get met in other ways, right? We know that God's the only one that can really satisfy us, but yeah. we have hurts in our hearts and we're just trying to fill it with things that bring us pleasure. So maybe for you, you're really just, you know, desiring to feel loved and wanted and worthy and because you're not really connected to God giving you mm -hmm. that need, then maybe you're looking to your partner to make you feel yeah. loved, worthy, and, and wanted, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's the thing that we can ask ourselves and of course ask the Holy Spirit to say, okay, I keep doing this thing, Lord. I keep, you know, crossing the boundary with mm -hmm. my boyfriend or my girlfriend, my fiance, and I need you to help me, Lord, to show me what's in my heart that's just causing me to yeah. yearn for this good. and walking through that with the Holy Spirit allows you to really have emotional healing so, so he can show you the root and he can actually fill that hole so that you don't need to, you know, basically soothe that pain with pleasure. Yeah. In pain your seeks pleasure. Yeah, exactly. Pain always seeks pleasure. <clears throat> yeah. And it's not, I'm saying this because this is something that we've experienced, right? We had areas of our heart that yeah. needed again, like the Lord to heal them. Yeah. But we saw it kind of manifesting yeah. in different ways in our relationship. But it might not always be that. There's also a whole nether side of the coin oh, yeah. that is technically just the way that God made men versus women. And I yeah. know my babe's gonna crush it and tell us a little bit more about that. <sighs> okay, that was good. Babe. Thanks, baby. I love how you throw me the ball all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is something, guys, that is called 90-10 rule. Mm -hmm. And it's actually not a real rule and it's a bit of generalization, but it will help us get the picture. Mm -hmm. So what it is, it basically says that 90% of everything that men are doing, they're actually trying to get physically intimate with a woman. On the other side, 90% of <laughs> what women need in their bucket is in emotions, mm -hmm. feeling loved, being gentle, right. romantic, right. and stuff like that. Okay, men, 90% of what men are doing are actually pushing 
them into their 10%, which is being romantic, being mm -hmm. gentle, being in love. Mm -hmm. And when they fill up woman's 90%, then woman goes into her 10%, right, right. which is physical intimacy and, yeah, physical mm -hmm. intimacy, which is men's 90%. Right, right. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that leads us to a question. How can a woman fill... 90% right. of men's bucket and you're living in purity because again this is how God created us to be like this mm -hmm. is normal men need connection mm -hmm. like men need physical intimacy for connection for right. them to being loved that's for them to be feel like loved mm -hmm. yeah <coughs> baby that's so good and we look at it in a different way when people are married right how often do you hear couples talk about this or if you are married you've experienced this too like yeah. my babe said where the wife does not feel like her husband cares about her he's not talking to her he's not yeah. investing in her emotionally and then she does not want to be physically yeah. intimate with him yeah. and then the husband is like what the heck my wife doesn't love me she doesn't want to be physically intimate with me so i'm not going to go and give you know romantic gifts and do romantic gestures for her because yeah. she doesn't love me yeah. and it is this cycle, this circle. Yeah. yeah but as my babe said in marriage that's its whole other <laughs> whole other problem yeah. but for us when we're living in purity like like, my needs are met right now because he is just pouring into me <laughs> my 90% is like overflowing but my That's poor true. babes his 90% because yeah. we're living in purity can feel depleted yeah. mm -hmm. one other thing go go I, I, it's really important to say why one of the reasons why living in purity is so good so healthy and so important because I am now learning by living in purity, I'm mm -hmm. learning how to be romantic, how to be emotional, and how to fill her bucket without meeting my <laughs> physical needs. This is why purity is so beautiful. Right. That's because so good. how do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so good. But that was funny. <coughs> as my babe said we had to figure this out because then my poor babe right poor babe. right just i know he was feeling loved but there were times that he would ask me just like babes like do you love me mm. and i would be like what do you mean like we're so connected because yeah. i'm so full yeah. and we had to actually it was the lord because when we stumbled across this revelation yeah. this was a game changer so we had to say okay if he needs to feel loved in a physical way, but we're living in purity, how do we do this? Yeah. And we connected the dots, thanks to the Holy Spirit, to actually look at our love languages yeah. in conjunction with this, mm -hmm. with the lens of living in purity. So right? good. Complicated, but we're gonna walk through some examples because it's just so good. Yeah. So basically what we did is we went through each and every single love language, which we're gonna go through with you now, yeah. but we're gonna go through it like from the men's lens mm -hmm. of what a man needs. And again, yeah. this is through living in purity, okay? Yeah. And yeah. then we're gonna do the same thing for women so we can kind of see how can we love each other. Okay. It's gonna be good. So the first one, I have to look it up because sometimes I forget, is... Uh, I almost words, said, of, words of affirmation. I almost said words of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> words of knowledge, yeah. Words of affirmation. So tell us, babe, as a man yeah. living in purity, how do you need words of affirmation in a way that fills your physical... 90%. Yeah, so this actually this fills my bucket a lot like this helps me a lot uh, When like almost ev not almost every day. She's like babe. You look so good, babe You're so attractive babe. I love how this shirt looks on you then oh babe I was checking you out in the gym the pump that you had then she comes in in the gym. She starts like uh, Making a move out of me like we don't know each other <laughs> Basically, she does. Or texting she hits him, on me. Yeah, you look like hot right now. Yeah, so now for me, it's like, ah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She, like, it's, oh, she wants me. Right. You know, and it's like, <laughs> even that helps a lot. Right. Yeah. I literally watch his face just, like, light up when I do these <laughs> things. And I never knew that before, right? Because, yeah. again, he needs that physical tank, like, filled. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for me as a woman, 
I, because we like romantic things, when he tells me beautiful things, like, babe, you look so beautiful, babe, you look like a wife today, you yeah. look this, like these, a romantic lens. Yeah. Less of like, babe, you look hot. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's not the physical stuff that yeah. I need, but it's the emotional, like, mm -hmm. you look beautiful. I love how you did your hair today, babe. Like, I love your makeup. I love that lip gloss, like those types of things. Yeah. That's true. Side note, you may be hearing the music outside. We live in the hood. We're it happens. We're ministry students. Yeah, what are you gonna do, right? Hopefully we don't get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was good. So now let's look at touch. So mm -hmm. touch as a love language for a man living in purity. This is a tricky one <clears throat> because mm -hmm. you don't wanna over touch. Right, right. But what we do, uh we hug a lot. As you can see, every our video with all over each other, we're always holding hands. We're always like having some kind of form of touching. It's hard to kiss you with this cap. Yeah, I was trying to match his vibe since he's like, you know, hipster mate, but is... like I could literally like take yeah. out your eye. Sorry, yeah, we're, go ahead. We're good. So just yeah. touch. You see, just just touch. Uh, hugs, holding hands, right. we're in public or whatever, or like when I'm in the gym and she comes and just kisses me, mm -hmm. you know, oh, this, 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 one, this one is mine, I do the same thing for her. So it's just like physical touch in a healthy, pure right. sense that's like non -sexual. always non-sexual. Non yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say similar, but for the women, like, I don't know, maybe I'm speaking for myself, but when he does just super sweet physical things, like holding my hand or like taking my hand and kissing it, kissing yeah. me on my forehead, things like that just seems so romantic mm -hmm. and sweet, but they're still physical touch yeah. oriented, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, the next one, next love language is gifts. So gifts as a man living in purity. Um, I remember Kayla giving me a lot of love letters with her uh. handwriting, with, um, with you literally put lipstick on, kiss the the the, the letter, put perfume on the letter. I don't know. It's kind of sexy. It's nice. It's intimate, and again, it helped me feel right. fill my bucket. Yeah, right, but still appropriate. Yeah, that's good, baby. Yeah. For me, ladies, a romantic gift from your man. I mean, what is better than that? Similar, like he wrote handwritten like love letters for me when he was traveling on a ministry yeah. trip. He wrote me a song for Valentine's Day. He did. Yeah, he gives me just like thoughtful, beautiful gifts. He buys me flowers yeah. and like those little things yeah. just mean the world to me. And they're so romantic. <laughs> okay, so love language next is time. Time. Yeah, so time is like when she prioritizes me in everything mm -hmm. that she does literally if the phone is rings boom she does right. not pick it up she's not texting she's not on instagram mm -hmm. she's like everything that she does it's like i am her number one priority yeah. it makes me feel so valued so mm -hmm. seen so i don't know so manly mm -hmm. and again it's filling my right. bucket so good yeah, yeah. pretty much same for me much the same, um yeah. Like I love when he's on the phone with like one of his guy friends and like if I walk into the room mm -hmm. and he'll like tell them like, oh, I have to go, like my babes is here. Like, oh my gosh, he loves me. <laughs> so sweet, I love it. Yeah, so same thing, just prioritizing me and making yeah. me feel like the only woman in the world yeah. is beautiful. Last, but definitely not least, my primary love language, acts of service. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've heard, I've heard, okay, I've heard. The man, the man. So, <laughs> For me, which again fills my neighbors and bucket when she does cute little wifey things. Uh, like, you know, she will put up a sandwich for me when I go to school. <laughs> We're 33. We're 33. <laughs> yeah. But like doing stuff, preparing snacks for us when we go on a road trip or when we, where we go on a somewhere, when we right. travel somewhere, preparing things. And it's like, oh, like, babe, like, I feel again, so special, so known, so right, seen right. that again, it's filling my bucket. And I don't know, I just, Makes me feel more as a man. Yeah, that's good. When you do those kind of right, things. Right, right, right. Yeah. 
And for me, I'm we'll sure you, you guys have probably seen maybe these Instagram reels or TikToks where it's like the man is hitting on the wife, like the husband is hitting on the wife, and he's at home, he's cleaning the toilet, he's washing the dishes, he's doing all the like, you know, home things, and it's like making her feel super attracted to him, like that would be it for me. Like when he washes the dishes, like if he brings the plates downstairs and washes them without me asking, I'm like, oh! <laughs> where I was traveling and he like went grocery shopping and like filled up like my fridge for me so I yeah. would come home to a full fridge little things like that for me yeah. acts of service are huge yeah and again we're not living together we yeah. live really <clears throat> close by to each other it's just always good to to say so one thing I want to say just to wrap this up mm -hmm. obviously there's still so much more of the 90%, yeah. right? That he's not gonna get filled because yeah. we're living in purity. However, there are still ways, as you just said, like a couple sentences ago, where I can make him feel like a man and that will yeah. sustain us <laughs> until, until it is time. Two and a half months. Until it is time, <laughs> two and a half months. And basically the overarching theme that we try to ask even each other yeah. we're like okay like babe am i loving you well yeah, is there a good. way that i can love you better yeah. do you feel wanted do you feel desired mm -hmm. and just having open dialogue to yeah. make sure that my poor babes 90 percent <laughs> can feel because mine is like overflowing in this season yeah. <laughs> in this season of engagement right so, mm -hmm. it's so funny yeah it's like <laughs> babe how can i love you better right. that's that's the question you want to ask yourself it's like once a week right, like right. am i loving you this week like that that you feel as a man like how can i love you better mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the same for her yeah 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 so that's really all this in summary has really helped us just first yeah. identifying like were we crossing physical boundaries because there was a deeper issue that we were trying to get met yeah. and get filled and then figuring out this whole piece of again like how can i make him as a man feel loved in this relationship mm -hmm. and vice versa yeah. while living in purity yeah. these two things for us have not only solved the root cause of a lot of things, yeah. but they've made us both feel so loved and so connected yeah. in like our season of engagement. Yeah, that's right? it. And if you haven't watched part one of this, what are you doing? Walking in what purity. Are you waiting for? Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a card, hopefully. I, I don't know what side, but one of these we'll sides. Put it in. Yeah. And that's it, guys. We that's love it. you. We're praying for you, and we can't wait to see you guys on the next video. See ya. Bye.